What's up guys, Commonwealth Snow here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install NeoFetch in Windows 10. Now, I do have to admit, it's not actually the real NeoFetch we're going to be installing today, but it is something called WinFetch, which gives you about the right result anyway, so we'll just call it NeoFetch for now. I will be doing this in Windows 10, I have a virtual box open here. Um, I have tried it on my laptop, which does have Windows 10 on, so all these steps will work perfectly fine on Metal, so don't, no need to worry about that. We're going to be installing a few different things throughout this process, so hopefully you'll lay back and enjoy it, or follow along. So let's just get straight into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate over to the Start menu, and you're going to want to type in PowerShell. Now, you can think of PowerShell as a more powerful version of Command Prompt with Linux terminal syntax. It's a very powerful tool in Windows, and I think it's what all the kind of sysadmins use. You're going to want to right-click this and run as administrator. Just click yes, the, the normal Windows crap. And now that we're in PowerShell with administrator privileges, we're going to want to enter this command. Capital S, set, dash, execution policy. Make sure to capitalize everything that I'm capitalizing here. Remote signed, space dash, scope, space, current, user. I'm gonna just type in Y here and click enter. Okay, so now we've given ourselves the authority to do everything we need to be doing throughout this process. So, the next step involves another command. Invoke dash, dash, sorry, expression, space, open bracket, new object, space, capital S, System dot net dot web client close parentheses dot download capital S string open parentheses https colon forward slash forward slash get dot scoop dot sh close brackets now with this command we're going to be downloading we're going to be downloading scoop which is a command prompt based package manager believe it or not windows can have uh, some package managers so that's what we're going to be downloading and .sh is the uh, it's a shell script so we're just going to click enter on that ah we made oh well, sorry i made a mistake in that one command we want to put this the um, the place to download it in quotation marks mistake on my part so it's downloading scoop through the uh, through the term PowerShell terminal I think this is actually called a terminal I don't know I don't really use Windows anymore so there we go scoop was installed successfully so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to enter scoop install git so we just want to click enter on that Wait for it to install. It's going to install a few dependencies. Uh, it uses 7-zip to do certain things, so it just installs that as a dependency. It does take a little bit here, so depending on your internet connection, of course. And I have this running in a virtual machine, so I think it's going to take a little bit longer than usual, but it shouldn't take too long. That's installed. Okay, so now we need to enter the command scoop bucket add extra. Now, think of buckets as different repositories. So, scoop is your package manager, and a bucket is the repository. I think that's the closest analogy that can be thought of. So, scoop bucket add extras. Just going to click enter on that. It'll lose some more Windows things, checking the repo, as it says there. So we'll take a little bit after this, it hangs for a little second. On my laptop, it actually hung for a good while, so you want to, you just want to wait a little bit for that. But eventually, it will add it. 
And now we are going to do the scoop install win fetch. Because now we've added our repository and we also have our package manager. So now it's just a simple one command to install win fetch. And now with win fetch installed, we can enter win fetch into the PowerShell we have open here. And we can see that yes, we now have a NeoFetch-esque program installed on our Windows machine. This also works in command prompt just fine. So if we open, whoopsies, if we open um, just a normal command prompt and type in WinFetch here, it will indeed eventually open up a NeoFetch-esque little diagram. This is definitely the most cursed video I think I'm ever going to make. So I'm very, very sorry for all you Linux users out there. I myself, I'm a Linux user, I, I daily drive Linux. So this is particularly concerning. Um, I saw a picture of this on one of the Mongolian basketball weaving forums a while ago. And I, I did really seriously think it was a Linux rice. I thought they'd made it to look like a, a Windows winfetch neofetch but unfortunately no you can actually install neofetch slash winfetch in uh, windows 10 so concerning stuff but that's about it that's about all i wanted to show you i just wanted to show that it was possible i had no idea until a couple days ago and uh and no it just really surprised me so yeah that's about it thank you very much for watching um Make sure to check out my other stuff. I've got a bunch of stuff on the on the channel now, so go watch one of them. Any one of them will be better than this. So, thank you very much. Have a good day, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.